clutch in the day, I want a lovely smooth drive and keep the eyes moving. Mm -hmm. Have any questions before we started? No. Right, um, yeah, we're, we're on with um, Mary Ann's first smog driving test. She's been away a bit, haven't you? Mm. Yeah, she's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty. Thirty-two hours. This is her first mock test. So all our videos are on YouTube apart from the last four hours which we didn't record. I didn't get time to do them. Um then we're doing our very first mock test. Have you any questions before we start? Okay, we're gonna be out for 38 or 40 minutes, depending on traffic. We're gonna take in various traffic and road conditions. One manoeuvre, you got your seatbelt on, yeah. Possibly the controls, something will be driving independent by way of sat nav signs. Do you want signs or sat nav? Can you see that? Yes. Right. Um, throughout the drive, I like to follow the road ahead at all times unless you're directed by signs and mountains. I'll ask the term which will do some good time. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Put all your windows up. We're going to put the air con on. One question before we start. How would you check your powered seams work before starting the journey? Um, it shouldn't feel heavy, it should feel light, and you should feel a response when you turn the ignition on. Good, right, go and do your beer park, go and show them how good you are. Okay. Show them yours. Am I reversing? You want to reverse in the beer, the one we just talked about. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute, do you see that camera between your legs there? Yeah. Press that button there, look. That's the camera, just press and hold for three seconds. Is it just button. underneath it? Yeah, underneath, it's about there, look. Oh. Just press it. And leave loose. Oops. There you go. Does that camera work? Right, let's give it a go then. This is the one where the grey doors are here. Yeah. Good luck. Mm. Mm. Minor fault number one, uh, Mary Ann. Had you just straightened the wheel up here when it was parallel, you should have. It was perfect. Um, the speed was really good, and your observations were very good. But then you have to shunt it forwards and back. And when you do shunt it backwards, you nudge the curb. So it's just a minor fault for control, but it's a pass. So well done. <laughs>
That'll do. <laughs> but you haven't on putting your roots in, so it's a pass. If you just straighten up the right way, it'll be yeah. fine, yeah? Right, just turn it right over here. Follow sat nav. Turn right, St John's Road. So now it's pretty good, your footwork's been good, your gear change is nice and smooth, your braking's been nice and light, mirrors is all good at the moment. Um, and you do well here, you follow the car into the middle, I've seen a lot of learns, but just stop behind the white line. And everything good at the travel light, so yeah, well done with that. When you leave the uh, turn right at the travel light, you should leave in the left lane. I don't mark this because um, the sat nav said turn right then bear right, um, but... You should have just been keeping to the left. I should have reminded you just to ignore the sat nav there, but it's all good. Fault number two, Marianne, you should be using the left lane here. You're making hard work for yourself when there's no need to. When the markings say you can have the choice of lanes to go straight ahead, you should be taking up the left lane. The only time I'd pick this middle lane if there's something slow moving in the left lane. But what I've had here is pupils fail because they forget to check the mirrors to come back to the left. Had you just kept the left, well, this is just too easy. So minor fault number two for taking up the middle lane when you should have been keeping to the left. Remember, keep your car to the left normally at all times unless you're directed by signs or markings or you're overtaking or turning right. Fault number three, uh, Mary Ann, this is a bit slow. This is national speed limit now. I know you know that, um, but you're only doing about 40 miles an hour max. You should be at least 45, 50 miles an hour. Maybe it's around the 50 mark along here. Um, just a bit on the slow side. After 
400 yards, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, A167. Cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. Faults number four and five, Marianne. Um, yeah, this is my fault. This you picked this fault up because of poor your poor instructor. I will get it, sack them, and get a decent one. Um, if you look at the entrance onto the roundabout, it's on the left hand side. That, that normally means you don't give way at the roundabout. You pick the minor fault up because you slow right down and go into second. When the entrance onto the roundabout is positioned down the middle, then that means you normally give way to the right. Um, I did have a pupil come to me years ago, she'd failed here, she said she'd come to this roundabout and slowed right down and went in the second like you done and there was a car close behind but there was nobody behind so I've just given it a, a minor fault and the other minor fault is your signal left, well if you look, if you're going straight ahead like this, you don't put signals on for left, there's a side road just in front of you, people might think you turn into there and the vehicles could start overtaking you. First exit. After 800 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A688. Minor fault number six, Marianne. You leave your signal very late to turn right to this roundabout. I would have had this on nice and early because you do get people trying to overtake you. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A688. Dangerous fault number one, Marianne. Oh. Marianne, this roundabout spirals out, so you should have took up the left lane straight away. But anyway, you don't do that, so you go past the exit. Then what happens is you look in mirrors, but you don't react to what you see. This is where you, your mirrors are very, very important. You should have looked in this left door mirror, seen this blue car and said, look, I can't take this exit, I'm just going to take the next one. You'd only get a minor fault for a response to road markings. Now you've picked up a dangerous fault because you would have wiped us both out here. So I can't stress this enough when you're changing lanes. It's no good looking in the mirrors. You need to react to what you see. And you should have seen this blue car. What made it worse was you actually put, instead of signaling to leave the roundabout, you actually put a signal on for right to tell everybody that you're going round the roundabout. Didn't I tell you when I first met you, do teachers do crazy things?
serious fault number two, Marianne. Oh. Marianne, this goes down to undue hesitation. We've approached the roundabout. There's nothing to your right. You've got the cars coming from your left. They've got to give way to you. They're supposed to give way to you, but you just stop and sit. I don't know if you're still a bit flustered off before at the last previous roundabout, but we don't give way to the left at roundabouts, Marianne. We give way to the right. Serious fault number two, Marianne. Oh. Marianne, this has got to go down to observations. Um, I don't know where you're looking, but for me, you didn't see the roundabout um, early enough. Eyes is in the wrong place. Only you know where you can see where you were looking. But come up the roundabout, you're on the roundabout, and then you look right, and he's stall on the middle of the roundabout. Um, you do get on straight away, but there is a car behind, and he has to brake for you your destination. Minor fault number seven, um, Marianne, goes down for time of signal. Like the way as soon as you give instruction, use your middle and right dormer. But then what you've got to do is you've got to look for the time of the signal. Don't just do them together. Have a look at mirrors first, then look for the time. And should have seen this junction to the right and then signal when you got level with that. Fault number eight, Marianne. This one goes down for signaling too late this time. The last one you signaled too early, and this one you signaled too late. Everything else was good, but you should have had that signal on for at least four or five bus lengths back from this roundabout. Fault number nine, undue hesitation, Mary. On it, the roundabout, there's a couple of gaps you could have took, but for some reason you didn't go. You need to sort these gaps out at your roundabouts.
Don't mark this, Mary Ann, because you do check your mirrors and give a signal, come back to the left um, in good time. I dread to think what would happen if there'd been lots of it been busy and there'd been lots of cars coming down the left hand side. But when you come off this roundabout, you had a sign on the left saying it was no entry ahead. Looking further down the road, you've got no entry signs. I don't understand why you're going to the right for. You should be keeping this car to the left unless you're turning right or you're overtaking or road markings tell you otherwise. Had you just kept to the left, then you're saving yourself some hard work. Fault number 10, Mary Ann goes down to approach speed. Once you carried out the mirror signal manoeuvre, you should have looked to the right and seen that this junction was closed and you should have rolled up and put it into first gear. Now, what happens is you go up in second. When you get closer, there's a car coming from your right and it's indicating left. Had that not been indicating left, then you would have had to give way to that car and you would have had to stop. You would have had to brake quite aggressively. So if you approach around by you can't see much, just roll up and Stick it in the first. Fault number 11, Marianne. It, this could have been a serious fault, but what happens is um, when I've asked to follow the road ahead, second exit, now you've got to look at the road markings to see if you need the left or the right lane. Um, you don't look at road markings and you go in the left lane. Now, luckily for you, the road to your left is closed. This is why I've only given you a minor fault because you couldn't go left. So you've come round in the left lane, which was if the road to your left had been open, then that would have been a serious fault. But you, when you're going straight ahead at roundabouts, um, you're expected to look for road markings and signs to determine which lane you need. Fault number 12, Mary Ann. Um, yeah, you realize you could only go one way, but you've done I've done this junction with you before and you've committed the same fault. So when the junction to your left is closed, what I want you to do is steer around, then put it into first gear, then do the observations. As you're approaching, you're looking to see if you can go, and then your car's keeping away from the curb. You're inviting cyclists to come up the left hand side of you here, so when it's closed, remember steer round, follow the curb round. Once you've got the steering on, then select the gear, then do your observations. The roundabout, follow the road ahead. Drive it forward in OP. Remember, this is not part of the test yet. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Right, rest them delicate for yours. How do you think you're done?
<laughs> oh, Pamela, we've got some work to do. Yeah. What happened? Can you think of anything where you feel? The roundabout. Which one? Uh, the one where we had to stop on it. Um, and maybe going too fast up to the roundabouts. Well, you we were very lucky then when Sears Falls got away up up there. Oh, it was fast. Um, right, the first one. Have we done spiral roundabouts? Yes. Okay, yes, so do you remember that one? Yeah. Okay, where did you go? I was trying to right. get scared. Right, so you didn't signal on approach, so you got a minor for that. Yeah. Now, which lane did you pick? That one. Well done. Now watch. When you go onto the roundabout, which lane did you take up? No, the right one. Well done, but what's it do now? Yeah. What's it do? Spirals out of there. Which lane should you've took now? Left. Right, now you've done nothing wrong here. You've come round. You would only get a minor fall, so you've got here. Yeah. You've now got the signal on for right. Mm. You come over there and realise you need to be over there. Mm. And there's a blue car comes up, the woman on the left-hand side. Yeah. So you come over here and you put a signal on for right and leave the roundabout. Can you remember that trick you've got? <laughs> How did you do that? I know. Now the woman stopped. Uh, she's come up the left hand side of it. What you yeah. she stopped and waved us out, so I had to thank them. But she thought you were going around there, yeah. So when you were there, what should you have done? Because you need to be in that lane. Come what what yeah. could you have done there? I would have just carried around in the right lane, yeah, right? and then just come round off of that. I would have redirected yeah. you. Nothing you would, have, you would only record a minor fault response to road marks, okay. But then you decide to go off the left lane when we're here. With an indicator on for right, this poor woman. Yeah. Nobody, she was very patient. Um, then the next roundabout, he just sat and gave way to the left of the roundabout. Um, can you remember the next roundabout or not? Yeah, it'll take ages to cross. Why? Um, I'm not sure. You are? Because I was not sure. Right. Who do you give way to roundabouts? The people on your right. Okay, so you were there. Hmm. Turn right. There's nothing coming from your right. Hmm. And we've got car after car after car turning right here. See them? Yeah. Who do these cars give way to? Me. Right, so what did you do? I don't remember it. You don't remember it? No, I thought hmm? they were coming from there. They were coming from here. Oh. So what should I we do? I mustn't have seen that bit then. Right, so there was nothing in you got to see fault. So them just seeing you stop me just sitting there like lemons and they just drove on the roundabout. Yeah. Second one from your hesitation. Um then the third one would come to the next roundabout. I think it caught you by surprise. And um just uh, uh, you just stopped and there was a car behind and you just to think, oh, where the roundabout said turn left. Um, you just stop and then pull off and stall, can you remember? Yeah. Uh, no signals or nothing. I don't know what you're doing there. I yeah. think it was wherever you look. I can't remember. Can't remember. Well, it'll look, be good learning. When I get this done, there'll be some good learning mm. points on here for you. Um, I got to remember to signal on Rather Park. Because you I what? I got to remember to signal on Rather Park. That was one thing I was confused at. Like, what? when they said take the first exit, do you have to signal or not? Because do you have to signal left or not? If you go on left. But when it just says on the sat nav, take the first exit, so yeah. you don't know if it's like straight head or left. Yeah. Should you signal? Oh, well, I'll get my brain around that. It's not working properly. It's still in shock. So the sat nav said you at the roundabout turn left, yeah? Yeah. Right, so you put a signal. No, 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 it. it didn't. It said take the first exit. Where did it say that? On a few, on a few of them. So if you're going straight ahead and it's the first exit, then you don't signal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, you could signal there, so imagine that exit's not there, mm. and you're going down here, and the sat-nav says take the first exit, right? Yeah. Don't signal on approach. Okay. Get to there and then put the signal on. Alright, so only, it only when it says at the roundabout, turn, turn left. Turn left, yes. Okay. Now the other things that were close to being serious plots for, um, Approach and roundabouts a little bit on the fast side. Yeah. You know, the mini ones. Had any that we come to mini roundabout and um 
I was scared of you from a team me. So we're coming to the roundabout exactly like that. Now, mm. when you came to the roundabout, there was buildings to the right. You couldn't see. Yeah. We were going left. You couldn't see here. And then this car here, luckily for you, was turning left. I did not had a signal. Where was it going to go? Straight across. Straight across. And you would have had to do an emergency stop. Well, yeah. I think you would have stopped, but I felt you should have just slowed down a bit more. So right. when you came here, and you should have looked early and said, well, I cannot see. And then you should just roll up and put it in a walk here. Second first, before. just stop, put in the first. Um, another round before that, you didn't see it. I mean, yeah. and what does that sign mean? I don't know if I, I think I've done these with it, I can't remember. If I haven't, then it's my fault. Then. What, me around about? No. That sign there, what does that mean? Don't know, don't know what gap is. Yeah, well, that's my. I should normally cover these with you, right. See the entrance down the roundabout? Yeah. That means when you see the entrance in the middle, you give way to the right. That is just to remind foreign drivers that you go around roundabouts clockwise, you never go any clockwise. Okay. Got that? Um, where's that one positioned? The entrance under the roundabout. To the left? Right, when it's on the left, you don't give way. Oh, okay. If it's down the middle. Yeah. If you didn't know that, then that's my fault. I didn't teach you that. I should have. But um, if you, when you come around about sign and you see it's on the left-hand side, that means you don't give you just go straight Yes, across. just okay. go straight across. And you wouldn't indicate left. And you know how you see go straight ahead, first exit? Um, yeah. In a mini roundabout, if you're going straight ahead, first exit, I would signal. Only if there's okay. cars there, sorry. Uh, wrong in a minute. So, oh shoot, you're there, just imagine they said that the roundabout goes straight ahead for six. So why should we mm. put an indicator on for there if there's a car coming there? Um, just so that know you're going off to the right. Good, so if we put an indicator on for left, then them will know that, I know you're not turning left, but it tells them that you're going that way, and mm. will, what will them do? They can go on. They can go at the roundabout, but if you're not indicating them, they might mm. think you're going. Okay. Have you got that? Yeah. I don't like many roundabouts. Well, we've got so I'm gonna we're gonna go back and fix that stuff the yeah. next time I see you. Right? Have you any questions before we go? Not really. Oh, let's go. That was painful. <laughs> mm. Oh, and um, pulling out here, yeah, perfect. But what about that technique? Watch. Break and hold, clutch yeah. down in the second, clutch up the driving point and hold. Yeah. You're bringing up and getting jerky geeks in, yeah? You were really good at that. Put that down to you being on holiday. And she's off on holiday again, aren't you? Yeah. I've got more. She's had more holidays in, in six weeks now than, I've, than I've had in ten years. Were you nervous doing that or what? And then the second half was alright. Okay. If I had time, we would have been going back round there and fixing all that. We haven't got time. But I know where we're going to go next time I see you. Whatever that might be. It's a bit brutal. Keep on this side of the road. Did you hear it beeping? Yeah. There's a camera here. Oh, a speed camera? No, no, let me turn left. The battery gone on the on your, on your foot pedal, foot oh. car. Oh damn! What are we gonna do with you? <laughs> hey? Turn right. <laughs>